conducting, conducting usually it's uh, point means go, and then this means stop. Cut. Yeah, it means stop. So go, stop. So I, I point at you, you would go, and then if I point at you again while you're playing, stop. Cut. Okay, that's easy. Dynamics, play louder, play lower. Uh, rhythm, you can, maybe if we're not doing rhythm, this means, okay, pick up, follow my rhythm, like a conduct. One, two, three, four, you can do well, any deep words. Yeah. Then there's just abstract hand signals, and you got to interpret it any way you want. So if you're playing the bass and I'm just going like this to you, you kind of interpret it, you know? Wait, just go with it. Yeah, yeah, and that's just more of an abstract. That's, that's the Three Stooges, you know, right? I hope you do that to me. When <laughs> the second idea is it can involve even anyone, not just the musician. It can involve everyone in this room, whoever, it, whoever wants to get into it. And the idea is uh, there will be a conductor, but each person has to pick one sound event. At least Leo with you. One sound event only. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, it could just be like a cluster, like, for example, that's what you're stuck with. So when the conductor points at you, you have to play this any way you want, rhythmatically. But the conductor can also conduct you in rhythm, or conduct you in dynamics. But, but just that sound. But that's all your, but, but every, every person has their own one sound, you see? So, so the, the challenge of this is the arrangements, the improvised arrangements of these sounds. So, if we start off with this, and then the other one sound is just maybe a clap. It's how to arrange them, you know, and stopping people and, and, and mixing the sounds together, you see? So it can be very interesting and funny, and of course, any sound you want, it can be from your mouth. Leo DiCaprio approves. Leonardo. <laughs> to do any sound really I mean nature does it you know nature makes sound and it never studied music you know uh, the o the ocean makes beautiful sound it's never studied it's never trained in its room scowls all you know so I think it, it's it is open yeah. there, there, there's endless amounts of ways to approach right. sound <laughs> So I guess we'll start, why don't we start, we're going to go around in a circle, it's about evolving, so hopefully the groove will evolve too. If you start off one way, hopefully by the end it will be completely different. So when I'm fully into the groove, you start getting out of the groove, so you have to listen to me. It'll be obvious, I'll be grooving with what you guys are doing, yeah, yeah. and when you hear that I'm fully in the groove, you start going unconventional, okay? Cool. Okay, and then, and then it's your turn eventually to just get into the groove. When you hear him get into the groove, you get unconventional. Right, correct. And then we kind of continue Cycle. this until we you get pissed off and we stop. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. 
Marcus is like, where the fuck was the groove that I made? <laughs> no, I was zigging it, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Did some zigging and zagging. Zigging and zagging. It's like, you know, people say music is a, a language, and not to be cliche, but it's, it's almost like we're sitting here talking right now. That's kind of the way I look at it, whether we're playing a really structured piece or we're improvising like that. I think it's uh, just another way of communicating.